Yay, you did it. You made it through eclipse season and Scorpio season and to the last month of the year. Hello, I'm Carrie Samuels, your intuitive counselor and happiness coach with your December forecast. And before we get into what's coming up ahead, I just want you to take a moment and really reflect in and gather yourself and take a moment to acknowledge how awesome you are and how much you've grown this year and what you've done. It's been a minute, right? <laughs> it's been something. There have been a lot of ups and downs and a lot of challenges and hopefully a lot of triumphs as well. And it's a lot and you made it. And so I know this is a time of year when we're all rushing around trying to do everything for everyone else or with other people. But take this moment to yourself to acknowledge yourself because you're amazing. So that said, I want to talk about the numerology first of this month because December 2022 is a nine universal month in numerology. And nine is the number of endings, culminations, and celebrations as well. So that's why it's really good to reflect right now. So the nine teaches you to let go. You're letting go of everything in your life that's no longer serving you, people, situations, habits, all the things. I'm sure you've been recognizing what those are. That's what the eclipse season last month was about too, like that going in and figuring out or having the world show you what's not right for you anymore. So there's more of that now because this is time to really go within and be your own wise teacher. That's another thing that the nine teaches you. And also the nine teaches you how to individuate, how to be yourself, how to really be more authentically you because you may have been making decisions that weren't the best for you, that didn't really feel right in your heart. So this is really a time to really tune into that really well and to recognize what is appropriate for you and what you really want to do and not do anymore. We're really going to go into that a lot next year. 2023 is a seven universal year. It's all about soul searching in the soul. I go a lot into that in my 2023 forecast, my Divining 2023 forecast. I'll leave a link below about that. So this month there's a lot of tuning in and looking forward. So you're looking back and touching base with yourself and also because we're in Sagittarius season for the first three weeks of the month, you're looking forward. Sagittarius is the archer and always pointing toward the future with some joy and optimism. So hopefully you have some hope about your future and your life. Hope is a discipline. Hope is a practice. You have to really focus on the things that you want to do as opposed to the things that aren't working for yourself anymore. So as you're looking back and reflecting on the year, make sure you're being kind to yourself. Make sure you're being gentle with yourself. It's a year of immense growth, spiritual growth, strength, emotional strength, spiritual strength. So. As you're looking forward, instead of focusing on what you don't want anymore, focus on what you can achieve and what you can accomplish or that you would like to. Also, while we're in this Sagittarius season, Jupiter is finishing up its time in Pisces, dreamy Pisces, all about your dreams and your hopes and your connection and your connection to spirit. So. This is a time to really feel into what you like, feel into what you love, and feel into what doesn't feel right to you anymore. So as you're reflecting, make sure you're tuning into your body and your heart and your emotional center. And so things really take a turn after the 20th because that's when Jupiter changes signs. Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system, which is why it's all about abundance and expansion and 
feeling grand and generous, <laughs> which is perfect for the holiday season right now too. So when Jupiter changes signs, Jupiter spends about a year in each sign. So it moves into Aries on the 20th. And that's a big transition from Pisces, which is the end of the Zodiac, to Aries, which is the beginning of our Zodiac. So this is more about feeling a sense of self and drive and ambition and courage. So this is part of what's going to help you move forward with joy and confidence into the new year as you're tuning into what you really want believe in yourself that you can create it no matter what you've experienced this year things can change very quickly just as the zodiac wheel changes right so you we move from jupiter to aries which is going to be there until may of 2023 and then the next day is our solstice that beautiful time which is known as the veil thinning here in the northern hemisphere it's the darkest day it's that time to go within again. And after that, there's a return to the light. And in the Southern Hemisphere, there's a return of more warmth. So wherever you are, there's some sense of life and regeneration with this solstice. And the planets change toward the end of the month too. We go from fiery Sagittarius and things get very earthy. We have a Capricorn stellium lot in Capricorn. The sun goes into Capricorn after that wonderful solstice. That's what the solstice does. It changes seasons and signs. And Capricorn is all about your ambition and getting to where you want one step at a time. Capricorn's totem is the sea goat. So you have your the feet in the spiritual waters and your emotional waters but climbing to the top of the mountain so that's what this is about tuning in to your heart and soul so that you know your ambitions and then you create some practical earthy steps to get there what's amazing and synchronistic about this planetary shift we began this year with venus conjunct pluto venus your heart conjunct Pluto, the planet of transformation and really going through what's been buried and transforming and healing it like the Phoenix. And we end the year with Venus conjunct Pluto. We're also starting the year. So there's a continuity between this year and next year because we're going into the year with Mars retrograde and also Mercury goes retrograde at the end of this month and into next year. So we kind of head into next year looking back still. So if you're not feeling like you're totally clear on your intentions, it's okay. It's okay to know what you don't want and what you are feeling you want to head towards as you go into the new year because your mind, your heart, your passions, they're all changing. And that's what those personal planets are telling us. So what do you do with this magnificent and dynamic energy to help you end this year beautifully and head into the new year with grace and joy? So your first step that I encourage you to do is to take stock of all your successes. And you may not be recognizing them at the moment. So get a pen and paper, write them down, and you may want to put them into different sections. Emotional successes, spiritual, physical, material, whatever it is that you've overcome or achieved, take stock of it because every challenge that you've gone through, here you are, better and stronger, wiser, perhaps even more loving than you were before. So it's important to acknowledge that and take stock of that. And after you do that, step number two is to take stock of everything that's weighing you down. What is it that doesn't feel right anymore? What is it that maybe feels a little heavy? 
or a little inappropriate or maybe a lot inappropriate that you're dreading or that you've dreaded and that you want to change. So take stock of all the relationships that don't feel in alignment anymore, all your habits that aren't benefiting you, all of the people perhaps that no longer feel in alignment, the things in your work that don't light you up inside. It's important to take stock of that so you can let them go. Which brings us to step number three, which is to then write down what you would like to create moving forward. What experiences you'd like to have, what goals you'd like to have physically, emotionally, financially, in your career, in your love life, anything. What would you like to experience and create? This this next year and moving forward. Now I do have something to help you with this. I have a free personal year numerology guide. So what that is, is based on your birth date, every year when the calendar changes, so does your personal year number. And to know that is really going to help you focus your energy and know where your advantages are, your opportunities are, maybe some of your challenges. This is a very accurate system. Numerology is ancient. And this can really help you focus on the best timing for things and what you'd like to do. So you can access that free guide using the link below. I highly encourage you do that. And if you've enjoyed this video, share it with your friends and your family. I also am still having my early bird special throughout the holidays on my Divining 2023 forecast and healing event. It includes a 100 plus page celestial guide that is going to guide you throughout this year that you can refer to every day. We're going to have a healing event at the top of the year and an intention setting ritual. We go over your personal numerology as it relates to the year and everything about the year ahead. There are so many twists and turns. It is a soul searching year and I want you to be prepared. So you can also find about that using the link below. And I am wishing you a joyous, happy holiday season and an extraordinary new year. I love you so much and I am so grateful for you. Lots of love. Bye for now.